In this tutorial video, we're going to be seeing how to create a custom exception in Java. Now, in the previous couple of videos, we've spoken about most of the notions surrounding exceptions. But before we can actually create our own um, customized uh, exception, we first need to learn about two more keywords. <clears throat> and these keywords are known as throws and throw. So the throws keyword is used to tell a Java statement or an entire class that the potential exception will be managed by a class. Often this class is a customized one. Or that it may be managed by the exception class itself. So this keyword is followed by the name of the class that will handle the exception. Now this brings us to the uh, second keyword that interests us, the throw keyword. Now this keyword allows, uh, allows us to instantiate an object in the class following the, the instruction throws that we saw just previously. This statement is followed by the new <coughs> by the new keyword and by an object named with throws. Simply put, this uh, throws basically throws an exception. So uh, this is an example of how uh, we would use the two keywords in a class. Um, I'm not going to explain it here. I'm going to explain it in the next step. I think it will be more um, clear for you if I did if I did it like that. So. Uh, be sure to look at the next step. In this step, we're going to see how to create a custom uh, exception in Java. Now, for our example, what we want to do is basically create a custom exception that, uh, when in the case that when a user instantiates an object and gives a negative age to that object, we want to bring up our custom exception. So in our case, if a user were to instantiate an object animal and then give that animal <coughs> a negative age, minus 5 or minus 10 for example, uh, we would call up our custom exception. So to do this, uh, we first start off by creating uh, what is known as a custom uh, exception class that we've named age animal exception in our case here. And you'll notice that this custom class <coughs> extends the default exception class of Java. So this is a uh, class that already exists in Java. It's called exception. Now inside our custom exception class here, we have uh, one parameterized constructor, okay, um, which has uh, as a parameter message, which is a string type. Now this message is um, an attribute of the exception class. And this is basically going to let us uh, display the message of our should I say the parameter of our um, uh, exception or our, of, of our custom exception so and then we have super here so we'll bring up the constructor of uh, the parent class so now let's take a look at the animal class here <coughs> that you're familiar with so we have our fields our methods and we also have our parameterized constructor here the only difference here is that we have uh, or that we've added uh, the two keywords throws and throw that we saw previously. So in this case here, uh, we're letting the method know that uh, an exception uh, might be thrown here. So age animal exception might be thrown. Uh, and then in this case here, the, with the keyword throw, uh, we're instantiating the class age animal exception uh, with the parameter an animal object can't have a negative age. So that's our message. That's what we'll be using uh, uh, um, later on, followed by the age that the user inputs. And this will only be instantiated if this condition is uh, met, so if age is uh, inferior or lesser than zero. <coughs> Otherwise, we just want to instantiate the object animal uh, followed by this uh, sentence. You have created a dog for this example. So that being said now, let's look at our main program here. So as you can see, we start off by creating a variable named dog type animal. And that uh, variable dog is equal to null. Now null, if you recall, simply indicates that the object reference is not currently referring to an object. And the reason we're doing this is if we were to instantiate <coughs> an object dog uh, type animal directly in the try, uh, try or in the try block here. Um, you have to remember that in the code inside the try block is is known as um, is protected. It's what is known as protected. So that's why 
we can't instantiate directly an object inside that. So to do that, we have to first create a variable outside of the block and then instantiate it inside it. So that's what we're doing here. We've created the variable first and then we're instantiating it inside the try block. So inside the try block, we're isolating the code susceptible <coughs> of generating an exception. In this case, the instantiation of the variable dog using the constructor and uh, the uh, animal constructor. And uh, in this case, we've named the animal I am a dog <coughs> and we've uh, input a negative age in this case of minus five. So the condition will be met. So the uh, exception will be thrown in this case. And since the exception is going to be thrown uh, with our catch block, we're going to catch it. So we want to catch the uh, uh, age animal exception, and we've named uh, we've named it E in this case. <coughs> and because the exception is going to be caught, uh, the instruction of the catch block is going to be executed. So in this case, uh, get message. So this is going to get the message uh, or the parameter of our exception here. So let's run the program and see if that's the case. As you can see, an animal object can't have a negative age, minus five. So we can do the opposite case. If we give a positive age, 10, for example, you'll see that the exception won't be caught and uh, the instantiation of the object animal will go right to the end. So you have created a dog. So that's how you create a custom exception in Java.